Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I have a furniture makeover. I haven't painted a piece of furniture since last year, um, since early last year, so it was almost the year since I painted my pink china cabinet. I had forgotten how relaxing and therapeutic painting a piece of furniture can be, so that's what I'm doing in today's video. Before I get into this video, I just want to say that I know a lot of people favour restoring a piece of furniture, so they like the kind of dark wood but if you get a piece of furniture for free, I would rather see a piece of furniture be painted to your style of decor than being dumped in a skip just because it was dark wood. So if you can get your hands on these older pieces of furniture, they're normally much better quality than the stuff you're gonna buy today, especially from, you know, don't get me wrong, I have Ikea pieces, but all their furniture is built to last basically and I hate seeing it being thrown out. The piece behind me is what I painted and I got it for free because like that someone was throwing it out because it was, um, I think just because it was old but I was like oh my god perfect wood I will work my magic on it to match my decor. If you want to see how I put my own stamp on this piece of furniture then keep watching. Also if you have not hit this subscribe button because a lot of you guys are not actually subscribed to my channel but you may be watching my videos so do just hit the sub button and you can put the bell on as well so you don't miss the video. So this is the before, it's an unbranded mahogany chest, don't really know when it was from, I think it might be a reproduction of from the 80s, the back of it is not real wood so it makes me think you know it might be a reproduction or not expensive. Blondie always has to investigate what I'm doing and of course she has to get her nose in the video as well. I always like to give a piece of furniture a really good prep. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use some sandpaper to key the piece of furniture. Then I'm going to wipe off any dust and I'm going to use the crud cutter to remove any dirt or grime. A common question I get asked by people is do I need to clean a piece, do I need to sand a piece? I personally say, I use makeup as an example, would you wash your face before putting makeup on? I say the same for painting furniture, I always like to give a good prep and it doesn't take as long as you think to give it a good clean and a wipe down before you start painting. If you are using that crud cutter, just make sure that there's no residue on the piece. If there is any residue, just get a damp cloth and wipe any of it off and let it fully dry before you go ahead with your undercoat or primer. I always remove the hardware as well because you just get a better finish. I'm actually going to keep the hardware off these because I really like them. You'll see what I do with the hardware at the end of the video. So I'm just applying some undercoat. I'm going to do one coat of undercoat. I'm using the Colour Tramp brand. I'm also using their satin paint as well. So I'm going to do one coat. This just gives the paint something to stick to and it'll make your paint job last longer. If you are painting something that is like knotty pine or you might get some bleed through, you can use some shellac based primer. Um, Zinsser Bin is a great one and this will stop any stains from bleeding through. I had no bleed through issues with this piece. Always follow the drying time, it's different for each brand, you'll find it on the back of the tin of paint. Don't be tempted to kind of do loads of coat of paint, make sure you allow it to dry in between coats. These are the two colours I am using today. I'm using Colour Trend Satin for this project. So I picked this up in my local store. I went out to, I think it's their head office out in Salbridge and I bought it from there because they mix it there and then. So I don't have to wait for it. Um, I don't have to order it and collect it. I literally go down and they mix it there and then. I decided to use two colours in this project just to pick up on the colours in my room. So that lovely kind of sagey green colour I'm applying to the outside of the piece and the other pink colour that you've seen I'm going to put that on the inside just to give it a bit of contrast. <laughs> I 
applied two coats of paint and what I did was I worked on this project throughout the course of a week. So when I come home from work, I would just do a coat and let it dry and then I would just work on it the next day. I used to always rush my projects whereas now I take my time and the pieces that I've taken my time with and that I've allowed to fully dry in between coats, they have lasted longer than when I have rushed things. Just a little painting tip, people always kind of question when I paint like in my clothes, do I get paint everywhere? If you find you are getting paint everywhere, it's because there's too much paint on your brush or your roller. So I don't have a lot on my brush and that way I don't get it everywhere. I also just keep a wet cloth at hand so you can just wipe up if anything gets on like the floor. Um, so generally I don't get paint everywhere um, and don't load up your brush too much and you'll be grand. I am going to style up my piece with some baskets, but of course I left a basket outside and Blondie decided to get into it. I am going to use some rub and buff to, I actually have never used this properly before, um, I think I got it as a sample. So I'm going to use some rub and buff to make my handles and my hardware like extra gold. I think this colour is called gold leaf. I'm putting it on with a brush but you can use like a lint free cloth to put it on. I applied it with a brush and then I just rubbed off any excess and I just rubbed it into the details. I was actually really pleased with how this dried and how it looked with the piece. Most of the baskets that I'm popping in here, um, some I already had, that little peach one is actually from TK Maxx. Um, you can get the brown basket in Ikea and that little green box is my sweet tin DIY. So I just pop that in. I'll pop a card here for this sweet tin video if you want to check that one out. <laughs> I'm also just styling the top with items I already had in my house. That tray is actually from Heaton's from a few years ago and the china on top I actually bought when I was in Portugal. I bought it at the secondhand market. I love how I actually got, I call it the like crafters or upcyclers buzz um, when you paint something and it starts to come together and you're like oh my god this looks so good. So the general colour palette of this room has that lovely kind of sagey green. I have lots of pink furniture as well in here as well as some white pieces. So that's kind of the colour palette I have in this room. So I could have you know painted it white to match the other pieces but I like to have a few different colours in the room because in this room the furniture and accessories is the colour. If you took everything out, it's just a white room. If you are painting furniture and you have painting furniture questions, on my blog, I'll pop a little card in here. I have a blog post with commonly asked painting questions. So just commonly asked questions from people commenting here and on my Instagram. So you can head to my website 
Um, I'll link the post below and I'll pop a card here and you can check out that blog post because I put in as much info as I could into it. So I hope you found today's video useful. There's a lot to be said for taking your time and just giving a good paint job. Don't rush it. I used to rush it in the beginning and I'd want to get a piece start to finish in a day. No, take your time. I was doing this like throughout the course of the week. I would do like a coat in the evening. Like I would just, you know, take my time. So I highly recommend being patient and taking your time and doing a good paint job because it will stand the test of time then. So that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already to my channel and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye everyone.